it's time to do some testing with my quad multi rotor in uh, in a very nice area and uh, I will uh, test a uh, normal camera with a stabilized gimbal and also a thermal camera from FLIR, the Tau 2. So here is the multi rotor quad with a thermal camera and uh, from here uh, I will configure different uh, ways of, of uh, recording the camera and here is the control. Today is a uh, quite windy day here and uh, well now it's even up to 20 to 20 kilometers per hour uh, and uh, about 11 centigrade degrees it depends on the moment so we will check what happens with these uh, thermal cameras yes so we will see if it is possible how this gimbal, Martinet gimbal, works. Okay, so let's connect everything and check if we could see nice images up there, in the air, in this uh, slightly windy day and we will see what happened we will see okay I check I have the image here it's a um, thermographic image but inverted it means that um, black is uh, more temperature and white is less temperature but I think this view will give us a better chance to see what is out there this is the GUI application for controlling the thermal camera and one of the things we could do is just select the palette that will be used this is the, the, the color the color correspondence for hot and, and cold and on the different temperatures it is possible to select white hot it means whiter means hotter black black hot it's inverse or fusion that is a colored cold we will see in detail Now I will test the Martinez gimbal 
uh, it's an open source device and uh, I will connect it. The, here it is the, the camera, okay, very small camera and I have connected the, the gimbal just now, okay, so it will uh, some seconds just start, okay, it has started now, okay, so if I move the gimbal or the multi-rotor, I mean, uh, the gimbal always try to set the camera to a stable position. Okay, so let's see in a flight. 